Lakers that we are going to see Geo versus T Lock Oracle slash Manimal Crossing. Manimal Crossing? I like it. Okay. I like it. So we've been seeing Oracle bust out the Dr. Mario today. And FW, I think, stands for Flow, if I remember correctly. Is that Geo's clan? Uh, he's in it with Cosmic Cosmos, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I am not sure. I haven't heard. Uh, good for him that he's gotten sponsored. He definitely deserves it for all the results he's gotten here. Um, and yeah, we're about to see uh, one of uh, Texas's premier Rob players, period, against one of Texas's premier Rob players, period. <laughs> But no Rob from Oracle instead. He's going to be uh, going ahead and busting out this Dr. Mario. If I remember correctly, the last time these two Rob did out, Gio took it pretty convincingly overall. So Oracle's probably just trying to go ahead, figure out how he can maybe fry this chipset. But the robot seems unfazed so far. A little bit of a s small string from uh, Oracle, but it's not going to be enough. Gio getting stage control right back and putting that top in such a dangerous position. Yeah. Uh, Oracle's been showing us that he definitely knows what the business is with Dr. Mario today. He's been showing absolutely fantastic stuff, but uh, Gio telling Oracle that, uh, hey man, robots don't need doctors. That's true. Ooh. They need programmers. It's a good catch, and of course uh, Oracle would know that that back air is coming. It was a good option coverage, but the air dodge was perfectly timed and uh, not going to be enough to Get him away from that down smash puzzle? Oh, yeah, it was a down smash, yeah. It's, it's tough. It can be so tough in this game. When you're backed into the corner because you don't have as much uh, recovery options from the ledge, man, it's just so hard to get back sometimes. And playing a character like Rob gives you access to these really large hitboxes. But Whoa! look at Oracle going in deep, getting that up B just when he needed to right back into this set. That was cute. I really like that up B. He's been using that up B um, in different ways today. Uh, maybe saving teammates in doubles and, uh, you know, obviously recovering as one does with an up B. Um, but yeah, using the uh, phenomenal kill power that Dr. Mario has in just about everything. Uh, Rob looking very good today. Yeah, and, and we're seeing a bit of a change from Gyo as well. Generally speaking, he's more uh, adept playing the full screen sort of game, playing very projectile heavy, but because he understands that Oracle has that cape, he wants to play it a little bit closer. He knows that Rob is a great character, not only from afar, but up close as well, given the fact that he has options like that down throw up. I mean, we even saw Gyo uh, connect with the uh, inside part of the laser because he's playing so close. Uh, good up air to take it. Uh, you know, the beep boop, always gonna be a threat no matter what character you're playing. Down throw up, right? Yeah. That down throw up. Down so big. Up I like it. Great adaptation overall from Gio, right? He's swishing things up a bit, and uh, he's not purely playing full screen because he knows that if he goes pure full screen, he's going to get shut down probably because of that game. Yeah. Uh, we're going into game two now, though, and we're going to see Oracle uh, take Gio to Battlefield, which I think is a great decision because now uh, Gio's going to have a little bit more trouble killing off the top than he would because Battlefield's blast zones are so big. And on top of that, whenever Gale starts getting that top out, these platforms present new options to go and escape that. Try to go ahead and slam him down with that down air. Picks up the top temporarily, but it ends up getting canceled out a bit thanks to Oracle's attack top right back in play. And there's the cave that we were talking about. He was able to go ahead and use that get out of the corner, but Gio has his hands on him once again. Yeah. Um, so far, uh, Gio's been playing uh, the zone game. Uh, as you said, he uh, wasn't really in that first match, uh, but so far it's been working out for him. Uh, 94 to 59% is a pretty sizable lead, but of course one that Dr. Mario can make up for quickly with just how powerful his combos are. He's definitely playing a lot more projectile oriented, but notice where he's throwing those projectiles from. It's still not that full screen. It's not necessarily just camping around the Ooh. ledge. An unfortunate, unfortunate error there from Oracle. Uh, Mario has some pretty lackluster recovery, and uh, his PhD brethren can't really say much in that department either. Uh, Oracle going down one early, but he's able to shut down a stock from Gyo pretty nicely with that up B in that last game that they played. So he maybe see something similar, instead going for that tornado. Won't be enough to shut that stock down just yet. The robot's still gonna be able to make it back onto the stage. Bit into the corner, but he's able to go ahead and take back center pretty close. Yeah, something that I've been seeing from Gio in this game that's been fantastic, and we're seeing it now from Oracle, is he's been putting on fantastic shield pressure. Um, just really getting him down to those shields so that he has to eat an attack or go for a roll, which Gio can maybe read. Yeah. Look at him, that top, trying to go ahead and just prevent 
Oracle from getting back onto the stage, but that up smash was so well placed. I love the fact that he had his back to Gyo, and a lot of options like that you think they should come completely safe, but because Mario's up smash starts from the back and then goes to the front. The frames come out, the connected frames come out a little bit quicker. And I think that might have caught Gyo as he was maybe going for a grab in that situation. Yeah, and not only that, the back part of that up smash is so strong and a great air dodge there from uh, Oracle. Of course, he's going to know how Rob works uh, as he did play him for quite a while. And uh, looking maybe with an edge guard situation, difficult to do with Dr. Mario. Oh, wow. I loved that runoff bear. So surprising from Gio. Caught Oracle a bit off guard, I think, as he was probably trying to go and get that grab. Oracle going to be falling 2-0, but putting in some serious work with that dock. Definitely went to school for uh, almost a decade on that one. Yeah.